thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador Haskell and, uh, and Bernie. Very nice to meet you, and, and thank you for opening your residence to us tonight. That is really a beautiful gesture, especially in this COVID area, that you would welcome us here. And, and uh, I'm pleased to be here with my colleague, Paul Tonko. And, and I know uh, I was watching uh, Derek and, and Bill. Uh, you know, they are such great leaders of our caucus and have been just tremendous, uh, wonderful people, both of them. Uh, Bill and I, both from Michigan, served together in the state legislature. And we always had this ongoing thing where I went to Hope College in Holland, Michigan. He went to Calvin College in Grand Rapids, and there was always this big rivalry going. But he's accepted me. He didn't blackball me from the from the caucus. And uh, but I, you know, this, uh, you know, Holland on the Hill, the work you're doing to help legislators really understand this importance of this partnership is very meaningful to me. And and I've just appreciated the time you know, that has been invested helping me to learn. Um, you know, first of all, you know, I didn't, you know, the kingdom of the Netherlands, you know, there's, you know, I always growing up, my uh, grandfather came from the Netherlands, the Sassenheim area. But, you know, I always, well, there's Holland, there's the Netherlands, what's the, you know, how does that all work, the kingdom of the Netherlands, and, and you've helped me understand that. And you also helped me understand how the Netherlands really was one of the first, if not the first country to recognize American independence. I mean, I remember learning that. And, um, and I remember also just hearing about the relationship with FDR and, and kind of, and you know, growing up, I had always heard, um, you know, I had family members who were, uh, you know, talked a little bit about, you know, the World War II and the bombing and, and people who remember hearing that bombing and all that. I mean, those are very real stories. My mother met Corey Ten Boom, who was a famous person and, you know, loved her story of how she helped, you know, the Jews escape and, uh, but ended up in a concentration camp because of that. And uh, so growing up, this part of my heritage was something that I really treasured learning about. And uh, the more I learned about my grandfather, he came um, as a young man, uh, immigrated here looking for opportunity in the United States, was a migrant worker on different farms around the country, and then saved up enough money and bought some land in Indiana, built a farm there, uh, grew tulips, um, you know, kind of his heritage. Molinars were involved in that in the Netherlands. and. And I learned about Molinar meaning of the mill, the windmills. So, you know, somewhere we were, I don't know if we were windmill operators or what, what the thing was, but so I loved hearing about my Dutch heritage and that has only grown. Um, and this has been a real helpful way for me to, to kind of build on. And it's really enforced for me the importance of this friendship, this partnership that we have, this transatlantic partnership. And, uh, when I first got interested in politics, I learned a little bit about Abraham Kuyper and was proud to, you know, kind of learn about his background and kind of what he contributed and, and uh, was kind of a model of a, you know, he was a university professor, he was a minister, he was a publisher, and then he was prime minister, you know, so it's pretty amazing to see that kind of leadership. And uh, so it's, it's been fun for me to be part of this. Um, I am honored to be here, you know, uh, for this awards ceremony because it means a lot that you're recognizing someone who's con contributed so much to this partnership and this uh, meaningful relationship between our two countries. And, and so I'm honored to be here and uh, I just look forward to continuing to build on this friendship, this partnership. Um, you know, we've got a great, I think there's 30 members of our caucus now I mean that that continues to grow and uh, so that's very exciting for me and uh, so thank you for investing and educating us and helping us uh, very much be part of this so I'm honored to be here and congratulations and it's wonderful to to recognize your uh, accomplishments and it's also fun to be with David Morgenstern and you know and you know we hope he has like you know as your bride has uh, this cool Heineken uh, thing. I don't know if you have other, you know, takeaways for, the, you know, but that's pretty special. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Wonderful to be with you.